Good afternoon to you. This is Chris Haynes coming to you from First United Methodist Church in beautiful downtown Lexington, Tennessee. Hope that you are having a wonderful week and a great day today. Uh, no big announcements for you today. Just a reminder that again this coming Sunday we will be worshiping online only and doing that through Facebook and YouTube. And one addition I would make to that is that we will be having a guest preacher this week, a virtual guest preacher. Uh, our bishop, Bishop Bill McAlilly, has provided a message for us. And uh, if you've never had the pleasure of hearing him preach, it is a great thing. He's a wonderful speaker and preacher and a man of God. And so I am very excited to have him speaking to us uh, via our virtual worship service this Sunday morning. So please make sure that you take time to worship with us on Sunday morning to hear Bishop McAlilly and his message about being deeply rooted in God. Today I want to read for us uh, from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 13 to 21. This is one of those very, very familiar stories from the ministry of Jesus, and as with any familiar story, one of the difficulties is trying to hear this with fresh ears. So what I want to ask you to do is just take a moment, maybe take a deep breath or two, and then specifically still your heart and open your ears and heart to listen to any fresh word that God would speak to you today from this passage from Matthew 14. When Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion for them, and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place. The hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, we have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I want to ask you to reflect. How have you found God providing for your needs in unexpected ways recently? When you thought that you were without what you needed, how has God stepped in to make sure that you have everything that you need? Or perhaps how has God used you to help meet the needs of others? Just like the little boy that another gospel tells us was the provider for those loaves and fish. Or like the disciples who actually took those blessed food items and gave them to the people who needed them. Has God used you? Could God use you to help meet the needs of others around you this week? As we consider how God is meeting our needs and how God is using us to meet the needs of others, I invite us to be in prayer today for those who have requested our prayers. Today that includes Angela Blankenship, Brother Marty Comer, Caleb Dill, Gary and Lori Vaughn, Jerry Green, Leah Rowland, Robert Walker, Brother Bill Evans, Danny Skates, and Tom Riney, as well as the family of Denver Bowman. Let us be in an attitude of prayer together. Most merciful God, 
By the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Together we pray today for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer and those in trouble, especially for the healing of those who are living with COVID-19. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who strive for justice in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For medical professionals and other workers in our healthcare system, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all those who own businesses and all those who work at their places of employment, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders that they have the wisdom to make good decisions on our behalf, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for the communion of saints in every time and place, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now let us join together as we pray using the words that Jesus himself taught our, his first disciples, praying together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.